Ukraine received about 90 of the 110 Leopard 1A5 tanks promised to it. To date, Ukraine has been able to receive almost 90 tanks Leopard 1A5 from 110 tanks of this type promised to it in March 2023. The German press reports this with reference to informed sources. Tanks of this type are obsolete. They were previously in service with the ground forces of Germany and Denmark. Currently, 30 tanks out of 110 promised to Ukraine are in the arsenals in the Bundeswehr and are used for training tank crews. In total, Ukraine may receive even more than the promised 110 tanks, as 20 more tanks are being prepared for delivery at the end of June. 25 Leopard 1A5 tanks are going to be delivered by the second half of the year. However, it is unlikely that the transfer of outdated modifications of German tanks will improve the situation for the Ukrainian army in terms of providing armoured vehicles. Entering production in 1964, the Leopard 1 has long since been replaced by new generations of main battle tanks in Western militaries, although some remain in service. Many served in Bosnia, Kosovo, Afghanistan and the Kurdish-Turkish conflict. Proven in combat, the Leopard 1 was an effective Cold War-era main battle tank. However, many question its effectiveness and survivability in modern wars. The German defense companies Rheinmetall and FFG each bought 90 Leopard 1A tanks in the early 2000s from Denmark and kept them in storage for resale. However, their conditions varied and most remained in need of refurbishment. Many of these mothballed tanks are the Leopard 1A 5DK previously used in the Dutch Army and modified in an attempt to stay on par with modern threats. The 1A 5DK variants have several pre-existing upgrades that improve their fighting capabilities. These models have been upgraded with improved stabilization systems for their 105mm cannon, composite armor to help defend against anti-tank projectiles, improved detection and communications systems, a more powerful diesel engine and upgraded suspension. Vladimir Putin has been sworn in as Russia's president for a new six-year term. The Russian leader renewed the oath of office in the Grand Kremlin Palace for the fifth time. We are a united and great people. Together we will overcome all obstacles, we will bring all our plans to fruition, and together we will win," the 71-year-old Russian leader told an audience of ministers and dignitaries. I assure you that I will continue to place the interests and security of the people of Russia above all else," he added, recounting the text of the presidential oath. In his speech, Putin paid homage to the Russian soldiers killed in the war in Ukraine, describing them our heroes and referring to the war as a special operation. We must do everything possible to ensure that people who have proved their loyalty to the fatherland through action take leading positions in state administration," he continued. The ceremony held in the Grand Kremlin Palace was attended by thousands of guests, including Russian government officials, members of parliament, celebrities, and business figures. Among the foreign guests was Cuban President Miguel Díaz-Canel. Putin has ruled Russia for more than two decades and in March he secured yet another six years in power after winning a controversial election that was marred by a number of voting irregularities and lack of real opposition. The Russian leader is expected to name his new prime minister on Wednesday, the day after the inauguration. Ukraine's SBU State Security Service has foiled a Russian plot to assassinate Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and a number of other high-ranking officials. The failed assassination was supposed to be a gift to Vladimir Putin ahead of his Tuesday inauguration. In a statement, the security service revealed that they have exposed Russian agents within the Ukrainian State Guard Service plotting the kidnap and assassination of Volodymyr Zelensky and other senior governmental officials. The terrorist attack, which was supposed to be a gift to Putin before the inauguration, was actually a failure of the Russian Special Services, the head of the SBU, Vassil Malyuk said. According to the SBU, the enemy was actively developing plans to eliminate President Volodymyr Zelensky. The SBU revealed that one of the tasks of the Russian FSB intelligence network Ukraine's SBU State Security Service has foiled a Russian plot to assassinate Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and a number of other high-ranking officials. The failed assassination was supposed to be a gift to Vladimir Putin ahead of his Tuesday inauguration. 
In a statement, the security service revealed that they have exposed Russian agents within the Ukrainian State Guard Service plotting the kidnap and assassination of Volodymyr Zelensky and other senior governmental officials. The terrorist attack, which was supposed to be a gift to Putin before the inauguration, was actually a failure of the Russian Special Services, the head of the SBU, Vasil Malyuk's